so you, you can talk about the, the where we are in terms of the variants and how the bivalent uh, vaccine has helped. And are we are we past the threshold where the creation of new vaccines, bivalent vaccines, are going to be easier or more effective, broadly speaking? Right. So, so much to talk about, but let's go with the back, the, the, the last part first. So I definitely would love to get to China because there's some really interesting thoughts about China. So um, where we are now is the most circulated. So that slide that we put up was really busy, but the, um, the BQ11 um, is the circulating, the dominant circulating uh, um, variant from Omicron, right? That's the dominant, that's what's circulating pretty much globally, certainly in the United States. The reason why that's good news is that if we go back to that slide and we follow it all the way to the left, we see it's a direct descendant of BA5. And the reason why that's important, so if you just kind of start with that bottom red and then just follow the cursor all the way to the left, um, yeah. right there, you see that it's a descendant of BA5. That's important because BA5 is in the bivalent vaccine. So why do we refer to it as being bivalent? It has the original wild type strain that emerged out of Wuhan, and then it has the BA4 and the BA5. So when they created that bivalent vaccine, they took a gamble that, that some descendant of BA4 or BA5 would be circulating. And it was the right gamble to take. And what they found was that BQ11 is now the dominant circulating strain right now. And what we've seen is a number of benchtop research, as well as one really excellent uh, a human research that shows that being vaccinated with the bivalent vaccine uh, significantly decreases uh, severity of illness. Remember, the vaccines don't prevent getting sick. What they prevent, just like a seatbelt doesn't prevent you getting into a car accident, the seatbelt prevents the severity of injuries if you get into a car accident. These vac COVID vaccines do the same thing. They don't necessarily prevent illness. What they do prevent and what the research shows is that you are very well protected with the bivalent, especially if you have the bivalent on board and the previous boosters, and then of course the original set of vaccines. So uh, we do have good data coming out now. Bivalent has been extremely successful.